I'm Man of All Trades, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I built this chair. A few years ago, I started an Instagram account thinking that it was a photo editing, not a photo sharing website. And that first week that I kind of realized that it actually was a, a social media site, I happened to meet Jason Thigpen, who has since become one of my very best friends. He and his wife, Sarah, are incredible. And Jason, actually, it turns out, is an incredible leather worker. And a while back, we talked about doing a collaboration together where uh, he would make the leather and I would make the wood for a Rorky chair. These chairs were popularized, or re-popularized by Chris Swartz through the Lost Art Press blog. He wrote a book called Campaign Furniture, which is a fantastic resource. I will have a link for it below. a ton of things design wise that are just super awesome about this chair. If you notice, I'm sitting outside and if you look really closely around me, but please don't, at the lawn, there is nothing here that is a level surface. The cool thing about this chair is that it actually just levels out because nothing is glued together. It is free to flex and to move and it, I mean, it also flexes and moves to your own body. So you sit down in here and it really just accepts your whole body and is a very, very comfortable seat to sit in. Um, the only tough thing sometimes is getting up after you've uh, fully reclined here. The whole thing actually disassembles and flat packs just kind of like any other camp chair.
So I'm really stoked I had a second go at this chair and this project. I learned a lot more about turning spindles. I learned how to have better control with the gouge. But I really learned a lot about myself and about how I can better make this business work. I really appreciate you taking the time to support me by watching this video, and I hope that you feel challenged and inspired to do something awesome and creative with your spare time as well.